Hey, this is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Today we're going to be looking at a snow blower right back there. That's the Greenworks. That's their 60 volt in their 60 volt Pro line. That little unit is a, features a brushless motor. It's a 20 inch, I believe. Um, that one, I'm not exactly 20 inch. I'm pretty sure it is. But it's a very small, compact unit powered by a 60 volt lithium ion battery. Very nice unit. I've been very impressed with the Greenworks. Uh, snow throwers, single stage. That means that in heavy wet snow, it's going to struggle. Single stage and heavy wet snow struggle a bit more than two stage. Two stage is where it has the auger and then it has the blower. This has one kind of impeller that grabs and throws at the same time. Heavy wet snow, and we have, I'll put a drop of video clip of that in here. Um, it's tough. It's really tough. So, this is what happened in heavy wet snow with the Greenworks. So today we're going to be <laughs> dealing with snowstorm number three in the last like five days. First was heavy wet snow. Second was a little drier snow. Third is kind of puffy snow, dry snow. It's going to work really well today. We've got a really strong wind out of the north, so I'm going to try to blow things to the south, hoping that you won't get a snow wash on the camera, but it could. We're going to blow this area and we're going to do the little patio area. This is sidewalk here. Yes, you can do gravel areas. You'd have to hold it up off the ground so you don't dig into the rocks. It can be done. But single stage battery powered are best on hard surfaces, whether that's a smooth driveway with concrete. We've got some stamped concrete here we're going to be doing. Nice smooth area. Or tar or if you have uh, pavers down that are down nice and level. Any of those, it'll do a pretty decent job. If you've got rough surfaces, small pieces, any snowblower is going to have trouble with that. So I'm going to go down there, grab that Greenworks, do some blowing, move the camera, and let you guys see what it's going to do here. And give you an idea of how much it will throw this three to four inches that I'm going to be working with here today. So you got a little bit of wind coming back and around. Uh, this is a 20 inch, by the way. It does say it on the side. I don't remember. We've worked with a lot of snowblowers here already this fall. What's kind of neat about this is simple controls. You've got a handle right here for pivoting the auger back and forth. Simple manual control, but it's very easy to do. Some of these are a little bit stiff and they don't work very well. The Greenworks has definitely figured this part out. Works well left and right. Operating, you push the button in, handle, and off we go. One battery, 60 volt, uh, 4 amp hour, I believe is what's in there right now, which is kind of a common one in this 60 volt line. It'll run and go for quite a long time. This one is a freshly charged battery. We're going to be blowing the four foot sidewalk here that is about 50 feet long and then a 20 by 25 or 20 by 30 patio area on this one battery without a problem. So I'll get back to it and let's do some more blowing.
Now, I'm going to turn the camera just a little bit so you have a better view of the rest of my blowing. All right, we want to move the camera just a little bit so we have a better view of the rest of the area here. We're going to do this little patio area with our... Uh... Already wanted to get a little bit better camera view here, so we're going to use our Greenworks 60 volt snowblower to do the rest of this little patio area. In here, we're probably looking at four to five inches of snow because we have things drifting off the house. So we have a little more snow and you'll see more of it and we'll get to a point where we're going to be blowing some of the snow twice because I blew some of it that way already. One kind of cool thing about a battery powered snow thrower is that when I'm going forward and backward like I'm doing, if I want to, I can actually let go of the handle, carry it or just roll it back in silence, but I'm not using battery power, which is kind of a cool thing. Lawn mowing, same situation. If you're mowing just forward and you're pulling back and then mowing forward again, you can do the same thing. 
or with Lan Moy, you can just mow forward and then mow backwards if you want to. Doesn't give you as nice a cut, but you can do it. Not sure how that was missed. Well, there, that's our little demonstration today. This is the Greenworks. This is their 60 volt uh, brushless 20 inch snow thrower, single stage unit. Very simple to operate, very simple to put together. Shoot operation right here, power and, or the activation, dead man switch type of thing. Battery compartment down there. It's a mess right now because we just blew this little patio area off and we are good to go. Let me just check here if I can see. Okay, we've got a little bit over half a battery left. So we do have, we do have, uh, you know, 50, 60% of the battery left. So we'd be able to do more here. But that gives you an idea. We did the sidewalk. We did this area, about half a battery. So you're probably looking at, you could do a, a, 50, by, a 50 by 20 area easily with one battery on the Greenworks. Hope the link's in the description unless you can check this out. But Greenworks tools are available online. Or you can go find these out at Home Depot. A lot of stores are carrying Greenworks tools, but the 60 volt are only at your Greenworks dealer. It's a little bit different. So, again, link in the description below so you can check out the 60 volt line of tools from Greenworks. This is John Young with the Weekend Handyman. For more tips and how to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.